guns. They've become so ingrained into our human culture that we don't even question their existence or where they came from. Protection has always been at the forefront of our minds since the dawn of time, and guns have provided that peace of mind since before we can remember. They've infiltrated our media, movies, television, books, and now in the year 2016, guns have finally entered the realm of video games. You need to play Enter the Gungeon. Okay, so this is the new roguelite on the block, and oh, man is it solid. Enter the Gungeon is kind of like if the gameplay of Binding of Isaac and the over-the-topness of Broforce had a baby with bullet hells like Toho and the gun variety of Borderlands. Seriously, there's so many guns. Basically, you work your way down floors of the Gungeon to try and find the fabled weapon that can kill the past. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that means either. But you gotta fight through waves of enemies, open chests to get more guns or power-ups, and battle ridiculous bosses as you journey deeper into the earth. There are four main characters to choose from, and they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. The Marine only starts with one weapon, but he's got more armor and a free ammo refill. The Convict has weak damage, but can increase that damage by getting hit and retaliating in rage. The Pilot has a more inaccurate pistol, but can pick a lock 50% of the time to save a key. And my favorite, the Huntress, starts with a crossbow and has this little guy to help find extra loot. Look at him, he's so cute! They all encourage different strategies and are equally fun to play. Of course, everything is randomized every run, and you start from the beginning upon death, so you gotta make every move count. It's less about memorization and more about becoming a better player in any situation. There are shortcuts you can unlock by giving certain items to the tailor, but you're encouraged to start from the top so that you get the most goodies along the way. Now, this might look simple in its premise, just shoot the baddies and don't die, but there's a lot more going on under the surface. Enter the Gungeon is all about aggressive and fast gameplay. Of course you have to shoot and dodge bullets at the same time, but there's other things to look out for too, like traps, explosive barrels, and tables that can be flipped to block enemy fire. As you enter a room, you need to quickly survey your surroundings and think of the best plan of attack, whether it's getting some cover up, launching a barrel at an enemy, or using the pillars to your advantage. Sometimes it's best to take down the weaker enemies first to clear up some of the mayhem before focusing on the big boys. The game will even encourage this tactical thinking by giving buffs when you flip a table, such as stunning enemies, more money drops, or even a damage boost. Every action is about survival, and normally that just means destroying foes as fast as possible so you're less likely to take damage. In fact, the whole game moves very fast. When you clear a room, all the money will automatically move towards you like a magnet, so you don't have to tediously collect them yourself. And they've also included warp pads all over the place so you don't have to backtrack through a level. The game hardly ever slows down, they just want you to get to the action, and that's a great choice in my book. One of the most versatile inclusions is the dodge roll, and this is so cool even the developers name themselves after it. Not only does it help you with invincibility frames during heavy fire, but it's also necessary to dodge certain attacks. If you want to survive in the gungeon, you need to master this ability. And I love that they included several acrobatic sections as well as bullet dodging. You need to be quick and nimble to avoid the hazards this game lays out for you. And these rooms are a nice change of pace every once in a while. If you get in a pinch, you can also use a blank, which will delete all the bullets on screen at once. A strategic use of these things can mean the difference between life or death. But they have other uses as well, like finding secrets hidden in the walls. You see, there's more than meets the eye with this game, even in the story. I was surprised to find that there's actually a pretty deep plot going on, complete with side quests and other storylines that you can discover along the way. Optional bosses and mini-games are the norm here. You need to keep a strong balance of money, keys, guns, and ammo if you want to succeed. And quite often, decisions will be hard to make. Do I buy a key to open chests, or buy some health to keep me alive? Should I use this gun to clear floors, or save it for the boss fight? You even get an extra heart container if you beat a boss without taking damage. There's a lot of tactics involved, and the deeper you go, the more necessary this is. It does not let up in the lower levels. This game is relentless and unbelievably difficult, but very satisfying when you beat a floor and move on to the next challenge. Bosses are big, mean, and merciless, but when you learn their patterns and your focus takes over, it feels incredible to overcome 
this. That being said, it has its frustrating moments as well, like how some runs just won't give you any good guns, or you'll run out of ammo without any way to restock so you'll just have to use your crappy starter weapons. It feels like it's a little too dependent on the randomness. I wish I always had a shot at winning, or at least could blame my mistakes for ruining a run, but sometimes I just felt like I was dealt a bad deck. Or maybe I just need to get good. Who knows? There's so much stuff packed into Enter the Gungeon, but it's the little details that have really stuck with me. This is some of the best pixel art I've seen in a game, and all the objects in the rooms that go flying are just delightful. There's even tiny hallways full of junk just so you can roll through them all. I don't know why, it just feels great. This game has one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard, and it really pumps you up to go against the onslaught of bullet baddies. And you see that? How everything in this game is gun related? From the enemies, to the money, to so many gun puns. Even the freaking health is just two bullets on top of each other. Gungeon is totally over the top, and I love it. But let me explain. See, this isn't just a bird with a machine gun. It's a jacked bird with pecs and a machine gun. Who comes up with this stuff? The crazy thing about Enter the Gungeon is that it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, but it perfects what's already been established in this genre. There are fewer words that fit better to describe this game than polish. This is exactly the fresh take that I needed to get back into roguelites, and I couldn't be happier. The large selection of guns makes every run unique, and for real, some of these are just hilarious. But it's also such a hard challenge that it scratches that difficulty itch I always have. So give this game a shot. Every time you reload, you're sure to have a gun time. <sighs> Stay frosty, my friends.